Hi guys, this is Mitz. Welcome back to the channel. We have a subscriber, Larry, who wanted to see how to put together a grid pattern for the spoil board using Carvco Maker from start to finish. And that's what we're gonna do today. Keep in mind that some of the same concepts will translate to other design software. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna carve a two inch grid in Carveco Maker for the spoil board. And uh, we will open it up here and we'll put in our model at the same dimensions as our cutting area of the Onefinity. So we'll do 32.126 by 32.126. We'll put the origin point in the center and that'll make a lot more sense a little bit later when we get out to the machine. It's just easier to find the center of your cutting area uh, on the machine. Okay, so now that we've got this opened up, we'll create a rectangle that's going to be 32 inch by 2 inch. I'm making a 2 inch grid pattern. You could do this with a 1 inch grid pattern, but you do have a few different things that need to change and I'll touch on them here in a minute. So we'll change our size to 32 by two, and we'll hit create, and then cancel. We'll hit F9 to center that, and then what we're going to do is we are going to come up here to block and rotate, and we're going to put in um, distances are in gaps, and we'll put in two inches, and then we'll make eight rows, one column hit apply, and then hit F9. Okay, now what we will do is we are going to close that and we're going to do a control C and a control V so that uh, we've copied and pasted it and then we will rotate that 90 degrees and hit apply. All right, so now that we've got that rotated, what we can do is the ones that are highlighted are the vertical lines and what we will do is we will move it over and let's just go ahead and group that all together first. So we've group, we'll group our vertical lines and it's done. Now that that's grouped, we can slide it over until it lines up with the other part of the grid. And that's good. And now we will take our horizontal lines and we'll group all of those. And and then what we can do while it's still highlighted is bring it up so that it aligns with the other part of the grid. Come up here a little bit more and okay so drop that down and now that's all aligned. Okay and then what we will do is we'll create a square around all of it and we will make that 32 by 32. 32 by 32. And we'll create, we'll cancel out of that and we'll hit F9. Okay, so now that we've got all of that, let's go ahead and select the horizontal lines and start our toolpath. So we will select the profile toolpath. We're going to cut along the lines. We're gonna start with the depth of zero and finish at a 30 second point zero three. We'll select our tool and I'm gonna use a 60 degree V bit. And then we select our material height and we'll call that 0.75 and hit okay. And we're going to call this the horizontal toolpath. 
for the horizontal lines. And hit calculate. Okay, now we're going to select our vertical lines. And we're going to do the same thing along the profile. 0 0.03, V-bit 60, and material thickness is 0.75. And we're going to call this vertical. And calculate. All right, so now we've got all of that. And last thing we have to do is select the outer square. And we're going to do the same thing. We'll start depth, we'll go along the line, start depth 0 0.03 for a finish depth, uh, 60 uh, degree V-bit, and material thickness remains the same. And we're gonna call this the outside profile. and we'll calculate. Okay, so now that we've got all of that done, we can run a toolpath uh, simulation. And there we go. Okay, so the last thing that we have to do is save this to our um, a toolpath file and then I'll save it to my uh, USB drive so we're gonna call the I'm gonna because they're all the same bit I'm gonna save them all together so I'm gonna call it two inch grid or grid two inches and we're gonna hit save can't use the inch mark on there. So uh, two inch grid and we'll hit save. All right, so now that should be in my toolpath folder. And we'll see there that it says two inch grid right there. I will load that into onto a USB stick and then we'll go out to the shop and carve this out. Okay, to do a one inch grid pattern, we'll start again with the rectangles and we'll do 32 inches by one. 32 by one. We'll create, cancel out of that, we'll hit F9. And then under block and rotate, we're going to set the distances and gaps. In this particular case, we're going to change the gap to one inch. And we're going to put in 16 rows. And we'll hit apply. And we'll hit F9. Okay, so we've got that done. Let's group them together. Okay, and then we'll do a control C to copy, control V to paste. And then what we'll do is we will transform that by 90 degrees. And there we have the one inch grid pattern. We can come up here and move that so that it aligns with the other grid pattern. Let's close out of the transform tool and let's move that over until we have it aligned with the first grid. There we go. And then we'll select the horizontal lines and we will move that up. Until it aligns with the others. All right, and then lastly, we'll create the grid pattern, uh, the outside profile, and we'll just set that to 32 by 32, and we will hit create, and then we'll hit F9 to center that. 
From here on out, the process is the same as doing a two inch grid line and tool path. Okay, so we just homed our machine. Uh, disregard the tool path. I haven't uh, uh, got the um, design uh, tool paths in there yet. So we'll do that next. So um, as you recall, when we designed this, we did this from the center as the origin point. So let's move over to the center right now and we'll use the MDI command to do that. The MDI command is gonna be G00, X 16.063 and Y 16.063. Okay, so that's there. I'm going to move this over so that you can see that. I'm gonna hit the play button and we'll get centered right over there. Okay, so now that we've moved to the center of the cutting area, we're going to set X to zero and Y to zero. And now you see that those have all turned green under the tool path. And the last thing we need to do is we need to probe Z. So we'll do that next. Okay, we've got uh, our 60 degree V-bit in place. And um, what I'm going to do next is to probe for Z. We'll touch off the plate. We've got continuity there. And we will continue. Okay, so as you can see, we are green completely across the board here. And we will remove the probe next, and then we'll be ready to put our grid line in. Okay, so that's been put away. We'll uh, get the program in here. So you can see we've got the two inch grid line program in place. And all we have to do is hit the play button and we can get started after we turn on the router in the shop back. So you can see that didn't take very long. Um, now the last thing I do is I just take a, uh, a sponge uh, sanding uh, pad and I just hit the tops of it just to take off some of the high spots that's created with a, with a V-bit. And uh, if you want to see more definition in your grid, I just take a pencil and just run it through the lines here um, just to highlight it a little bit. And that's pretty much it. So you all have a great day. Thanks.